Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a universal haul. About a week or two ago, we went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando and we purchased a few things. Now, not all of this is for us. Some of these items are my mom, some of these items are gifts, but we figured we would show them and share it with you today. Sounds good. Also, a little side note, Larry now has his official Instagram and it is Larry Lynx L I N X, which is kind of funny. Minx was taken, so we went with Lynx. Lynx. I will link his Instagram down below in case you guys are interested. So Larry and I are just gonna rotate items. I'm gonna show an item, then he's gonna show an item. So who wants to start? You start. Okay, I'm gonna start. The first item is this gonna be tough. No, it shows up good. A mug. And it's Hogwarts Castle. It says Harry Potter, Wizarding World. Does it say Orlando? Universal Studios. What I liked about the mug is how tall and kind of thin it was. So I'm thinking, I'm a slow coffee drinker. I don't like, I, it takes me hours, literally. So I figured it would stay warmer longer with it being a thin cup. So this is item number one that we picked up. That's a good item. I like it. Oh, the price. $18.95 for this mug. The next item we have is a howler. It's a pop-up card. A pop-up card with sound effects. With sound effects. And there's the back. Ronald Weasley. How dare you steal that car? Okay, so this is a recordable pop-up card. Contains 15 seconds recordable clips. So, I mean, we could totally pretend to be Molly Weasley, do the howler, and boom. So this is the next item we picked up. It was $18.95. $18.95. Okay, so this is the next mug that we picked up, the Marauder's Map. And it's kind of <laughs> lumpy. I was going to say lumpy, but it's like textured. And on the back it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. And it's a pretty big mug. And this was $18.95. Oh, keynote about this mug. My mom was really excited about it because she is a massive coffee drinker and the inside of the mug is dark brown so it will never get stained. Mm. I, I had to bring that up. People might like that. That'd be good. That's thing. a good point. That's a good point. Okay, I think your mom got you this. Yes, she did. In honor of your film dumb. Yep. Yep. It's a Universal Studios uh, scene card. Is that what they call these? Yeah, like in the movies. Yeah. Take one. Yeah, I love it. It's so cool. Uh, and it does function. It's it's still wrapped in plastic, but it does have an arm up here that you can lift up and, and smack down to cue the cameraman that you're going to be ready to film. <laughs> and this is $14.95 for this. $14.95. And you can write on it with chalk and erase it. Yeah. We'll just put it back there for now until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. Okay, then. Okay. Next item is I haven't seen these items since we went everything's been in bags so oh, it's Hedwig and this is a 3d magnet for your refrigerator how cute is she is she so realistic and the magnet was seven dollars and 95 cents now this one's kind of gonna be a repeat yeah but that's okay but that's okay because I bought one and it showed up on an earlier video because I'm using mine as a camera bag mm -hmm. but the mink she got the same type of bag, but hers is pink. And I was really eyeing the pink until she grabbed this one and I thought we both can't have pink, so I opted for the red one. <laughs> so you know what I'm using mine for. This was $18.95. It does have a Universal Studios logo on the front with the globe. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna use yours for? I just figured it would be easier because I vlog. When I go to Universal, my thoughts were, or when I go anywhere really, like. I think you can use this as a cross body bag almost and I was thinking it would be so much easier instead of going in and out of the big book bag and driving everybody crazy when I put my camera away and then pull it out. I'll just leave it in here and it'll be so simple. I'll wear it. And you can put your pass in there and be easier to get the Yeah, pass so that's that's my plans for this. It's just to make vlogging life a little bit easier. Good idea. So I'm not bugging my family and you and everybody <laughs> with the book bag stuff either. You're such a bug. Are those chocolate coins, because if they are, we might have to eat one. Oh. I'm so hungry. The Bank of Gringotts. It's a nice pull string, <gasps> small bag. Chocolate coins. Let's try them. Here's what the chocolate coins look like. We are going to taste test one for you guys. Well, two. Oh. Good job. Okay. The chocolate coin looks like this. 
and this is what it looks like on the other side. All right, let's try our chocolate coins. I didn't know you got chocolate coins. I think mom picked these out. Oh, it even has the same print on the actual chocolates. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It's good. It tastes like milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. The next item is this bendable bow truckle, which I thought was absolutely adorable because you can use him and pose him. And he actually was really affordable. He was only $15, which is a good deal for him. So we also picked up him. I think if I was green, I'd look like him. <laughs> this is Larry. <laughs> That's me, green. You do another one. Okay, I want to do a pin. Let's show the pins. They had tons of new pins out. Every time I've gone, they have pretty much had the same ones. Not but anymore. They, they came out with new pins. So this is the first one I'm going to show you guys. They're kind of like pastel watercolored. Oh. Nocturne Alley and Borgen and Burks is what it looks like. So I absolutely love the new pins. And this was $11 for this one. This last item in my bag. Oh, this is mine. Was this for your pass? Yeah. It says the Wizarding World Harry Potter Universal Studios. So it's a lanyard. With Hogwarts alumni mm -hmm. on the one side. And you flip it over and it's got the house colors on the other side. Yeah. And then it has all of the house symbols. Mm-hmm. It is neat. I like this one. So this was... They had the house colored ones, the house pride ones, whatever you would like to call them. I liked this one, sorry babe, I knocked you out, because it's kind of multicolored and... Tall and inclusive. It's just, it's just different and I liked it, that's why I got it. Mm -hmm. Next item, oh, how much was it? It was, I want to say $10.99, but yeah, I Yeah, we ripped off the price tag, but it was another pretty affordable item, it wasn't too bad. I'm unraveling a mug. The next item, oh, I remember which mug this is. Oh my, they really made it, sh made it safe and sound. Ah, my favorite. You guys would have seen this in my vlog. I mentioned it and it says free the house elves with Dobby at the bottom. And then on the other side, it says Dobby is free. I thought it was the cutest. So the outside is actually a matte black and the inside is very glossy. This mug was $19. I like that mug. I do too, it's super cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are all pins. Holy crap. All right guys, so the last items are all pins and keychains. So we're just gonna kinda run through them. The next item is a pin. Sometimes I see something and I think right away, yep, definitely. And then sometimes I see something and it, yeah, I'm not quite sure if I should get it or not. But when I saw this, I knew that this was, this was a get. 1995. The next one is a set of three pins and it says alumni. It has the house hat on it, I believe, and Hogwarts Seeker. So it's so kind of like a Hogwarts themed pin. And this was $17. Now we're going to do a keychain. It's going to be Hedwig flying with, I'm going to guess it's Harry's acceptance letter. Yeah, probably. To Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. And very detailed. I think it's pewter. Is it heavy? It does have some like weight decent. to it. Like decent? Yeah. And it's got a uh, a small tag that's got the Wizarding World or Harry Potter symbol on it. And a clip besides the key ring. And this was $15. Nice. Here's another one of my favorites and one of the... Oh, oh. I dropped it. One of the newer pins that they have out. This is the Hogwarts Express in that pastel color. It looks like purple, I believe, and almost like a pink themed. And this pin was $8, which really, that's good. That's good. The next pin, yes, this is a new one. And is that Ollivander's? It's the, the Ministry of Magic, I believe. The Ministry, I think it's yes. got a bunch of different stuff on it's it. It's the Ministry of Magic in the telephone booth to get to the ministry. Aha. $11. Nice another one of the new pins and this looks like hogwarts and it's orange and green and you have hogwarts in the background it also has the hogwarts crest symbol and h and the oh my god why am i saying pigs boars the boars in the front that's what they are right mm -hmm. yes 
and this was eleven dollars. That is a Harry Potter. What do they call that? Like a silhouette? Yeah, I think so. Uh, profile. He is, I think, battling Voldemort. That is a really cool, very very cool picture. Uh, with the castle okay. in the in the foreground, mm -hmm. and you can see the the energy coming off his wand directed towards Harry. Yeah, it's when Voldemort tries to break into Hogwarts with that big bubble that they put over Hogwarts to protect it. Mm -hmm. That was him breaking into it. That's yeah. a really really cool pen. I liked it. And this one was only eight dollars. All right, and here's one very similar to that. It's another silhouette pin. It's Professor McGonagall with Hogwarts inside of it. And this is when she does that spell. You can also see the defenders down at the bottom. That spell, I think it's Pure Potum Locomotum. I don't think that's even right. But it's basically the spell that she casts to bring down the defenders of Hogwarts to protect the school from Voldemort and his evil people. She finally got to use that spell. She always wanted to use that spell. Mm -hmm. Love that part. And I think this one's new. It's a Dobby pin. Mm-hmm. Pretty good size for Dobby. Yeah, it is. And this one was eight ninety-five. I'll do this one. This is another Ministry of Magic. Ministry of Magic. This one's kind of cool. Almost looks like a some type of a military. Yes, it looks like you should be wearing it. Yeah, but it says Ministry of Magic, and it has the M symbol. This one was ten ninety-five. And the final and last pin, and I believe this might be a new pin as well. And it is the Hedwig pen. Can't go wrong with a Hedwig pen. And this is $8. $8. $8 make you holla. Mm -hmm. That is a wrap. It's a wrap. That's everything. <laughs> All right, guys. That was everything in this Universal Studios haul. We are actually going again um, January 18th. So if you guys are going to be there... We'll see you there. We hope you all have a wonderful day. List your favorite item down below. Also subscribe if you love Harry Potter and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Bye. We went to Universal. 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 <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And I will link it down below in case you guys are interested in. Interested. Okay. Couldn't have done it without her. Your Actually, photos are the best, though. Yeah, well, she set the whole thing up. I didn't do any of it. <laughs> I helped him set up his Instagram. All right, so we're just going to kind of... A pop cup... Pop up? Pop? pop? <laughs> now, I don't know what this is. It's my turn. Oh, it's your turn? <laughs> it's her turn. <laughs> mine? 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 You can go, though. No, you go. Restart. <laughs> Talking about we, it. we need that thing back there. Take two. <laughs> Shh. What? Somebody else, everybody else is going to get it but me. A pin yin. Like an opinion? So you have an opinion about a pin? Oh, an opinion. Did I say opinion? Opinion, yes. My opinion about pins. Opinion. No pun intended. <laughs> okay. Let's eat food. Food. I'm starving.